thanks for tuning in. Star scorecard, cheat code 5.10C. So remember, 5.10 is all about money. 5.10C, identify the advantages and disadvantages of different methods of payment. Okay, so are you going to pay in traveler's check? Have you heard of that before? Are you going to pay with cash or the regular check or credit card or PayPal, Venmo, digital payments versus electronic payments versus like effective money, which would be cash? Vocab for, look at this, C, D, E, F. All of this is going to be, this vocab is important for, for, for this teak, for these teaks. Budget. A budget is an estimation of income and expenses. So the money that you get from your paycheck and the money that you spend. Okay, and here's a trick. Savings is considered an expense because you get income and you spend it. So maybe savings is just like you, you, you don't spend it, but you hide it over here for later. Budget or savings is an expense. Balanced budget. A balanced budget is when you don't spend more than you make. You make money and you spend it, and that is balanced, and it equals zero, okay? And then financial records. Do you keep records of what you spend? Okay. Uh, types of payments, right? So this is video one. We're going to, yeah, video one, talking about the vocab. Cash, effective money, in, and in Spanish is, is dinero efectivo, because cash is accepted everywhere. Everybody accepts cash. Money or coins, it's paper generally. Um, a check, it's a piece of paper that you sign. Really, you could check could be anything, right? Any piece of paper that you say, this is the amount, and then you sign for it. Okay, a signed paper allowing money to be drawn from an account. So I'm going to give you this paper, it's signed, and later your bank will take money from my account. That's how checks work. Credit card, a plastic card that allows purchased, uh, people to purchase items on borrowed money. I have a credit card. You can spend as much money as you want on that credit card. And it doesn't mean that you necessarily have it, but the company that owns the credit card will ask for that money later plus extra. So credit cards. A debit card is cool. It's different than a credit card because a plastic card that allows people to purchase items with money from their own account. Credit is borrowed money and a debit card is money that you have in the bank. You have it. It's yours already. You're not borrowing money. And then electronic payment, it's any way that like digital, you know, the internet, any way that, that digital machines are used to help a transaction, to help a payment. Credit cards, debit cards are forms of electronic payment. Uh, PayPal, I'm sure Venmo, if you guys have used, or, or uh, Trello, I think that's a new, new type of digital payment. Question number one. Addison wants to purchase a scooter from an online store. Okay, she can either buy, uh, she can either pay by check or use her credit card. If she pays by check, the cost will be one hundred and seventy-five dollars plus thirty dollars shipping. If she pays by a credit card, she will have five equal payments of thirty-six dollars plus one seventy-five uh, fee for each payment and thirty dollars for shipping. How much money will Addison save if she pays by check? So multiple steps. We have to add this together. 175 plus 30 is zero, uh, oh, sorry, it's five. Five plus zero is five, seven plus three is zero, $205, okay. 36 times five, equal payments, that's multiplication. 36 times five is 30, 15, 18, plus, uh, Plus thirty dollars. That's for our shipping. Uh, wait, zero. So I'm sorry, making a lot of errors here. Zero, eleven, two hundred ten plus a one one dollar seventy five cents for the fee. Seventy five, one one two eleven seventy five. Now we have to subtract because we have the credit card cost. This is credit card and this is check. Okay, so 211 minus 205. 75. 11 minus 5 is 6. $6.75. There you go. So a lot of times the, this teak is just about, you're going to have to do multiple payments for credit card, or is cash better than credit card, or what's the difference? 
Okay, some people like to pay the fee because credit card's easier. Who's got a check? Nobody wants to send a send a check in the mail. <laughs> Robert is wanting to buy a new computer for eight hundred dollars, eighty uh, eight hundred eighty dollars. If he pays a credit card, he will pay one hundred ten per month for eight months, and there will be a two dollar service charge. So one ten times eight is eight hundred eighty uh, plus two dollars is eight hundred eighty two dollars. Or he can pay a check and just pay a one-time payment of eight hundred eighty. How much will he save if he pays by check? He'll save two dollars. Okay, and I'll show you the math. One ten times eight, because there's eight monthly payments. Zero eight eight. Right? Does that make sense? There you go. Number three. We'll do two more questions. Isaiah bought a bicycle at a cost of ninety eight dollars and forty cents. He has two choices for payment. Buy check, okay, pay by check, and three monthly payments of $33 plus, plus a fee. So three times 33 is 99. 99 plus 275 for each payment. So that's two times three as well. So $275 times, or 275 times three. 15, 21, 22, 6, 8, 25 plus 99. Is uh, well, we'll just add it 25, 8 plus 9 is 17, $107. So that's paid by check, 107.25. Make an electronic payment of 98.40 plus $5 processing fee. Which one is going to be cheaper? Which payment method would cost less? So 98.40 times 5. Zero. Four times five is twenty-two. Forty-four, forty-two. Carry my four. Nine times five is forty-five plus four is forty uh nine. Okay. Oh, I'm multiplying. Why am I multiplying? It's an addition problem. <laughs> Sorry. Ninety-eight point four. Plus five dollars, zero, four. Eight plus five is thirteen, one hundred three. It's cheaper to just make the electronic payment. All right. Isaiah should pay by check because it would cost, no, he should not pay by check. Isaiah should break out an electronic payment because it would cost three eighty five less. Okay, well, let's see. What would it cost? One oh seven. 25 minus 103.40. 5, let's go 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. 3.85. Okay. Should make an electronic payment because it would cost 3.85 less than a check. Isaiah should make a pay by check. No. It shouldn't pay by check. It should pay an electronic payment because it would cost 4.25. No, it wouldn't be 4.25. 3.85. There you go. Last question. No, that's it. We're done with the video. Thanks for watching these videos, guys. See you next time.